conversions of capacity before conversions let's understand the units of capacity to learn the sequence of the units we have the mnemonic king henry died lady didn't cry much kiloliter hectoliter decaliter liter deciliter centiliter and milliliter and these are the abbreviations for the units and you can learn the sequence with the help of this mnemonic king henry died lady didn't cry much so this will help us in the conversion for the conversions of capacity first write down the table with the help of mnemonic king henry died lady didn't cry much and after that when we are moving forward that is moving from left to right multiply each step by 10 so when we are converting kiloliter to hectoliter we will multiply by 10 so each step will be multiplied by 10. And when we are moving from right to left, that is backward, then divide each step by 10. So it means when we are converting from milliliters to centiliters, we'll divide by 10. So backward, divide by 10. And forward, multiply by 10. We'll understand this better with the help of examples. So the question is, convert one decaliter is equal to dash deciliters. So to convert this, we need that mnemonic King Henry die lady didn't cry much. Let's make the chart with the help of that mnemonic. And then one decaliter is here and we are moving to deciliter here. So we'll take one jump from decaliter to liter and the other jump from liter to deciliter. So each time you'll multiply with 10 by multiply because we are moving forward from left to right. So there are two tens, it means this will be multiplied with 100 to convert decaliter to deciliter. So one decaliter equal to one multiply 100 deciliters. So it will be 100 deciliters. B part, we have 16 hectoliter to decaliter. So again, we will make a chart. So our first point will be on hectoliter. It's here hectoliter and we have to move to decaliter. So just one step. So we are moving forward. And from left to right, multiply by 10. So multiply by 10. When we multiply 16 with 10, we'll convert it into decaliters. So 16 hectoliter equal to 16 multiply 10 decaliters. That is 160 decaliters. B part, C part, we have 19.3 deciliters to milliliters. Make the chart again. And we are here on deciliters and we have to convert deciliters to milliliters. We are moving forward again. So first step deciliter to centiliter, then centiliter to milliliter. Each step multiply 10. So there are two tens, it means multiply with 100. So when we multiply this with 100, we will convert into milliliters. So 19.3 deciliters equal to 19.3 multiply 100 milliliters will be converted. So while converting decimals, so for that, we need to know how decimals are multiplied with 10, 100 and 1000. You can watch my video on that. I'll share link in the description. Like here, we are multiplying with 100. So decimal will shift to the right side two places. Here is only one place. Add one zero here. So 19 and 3, 0 decimal will shift right side. So it will be 1930 milliliters. Decimal will be here. So 1930 milliliters. D part, we have 52 decaliters to centiliter. Make the chart again. Now, decaliter to centiliter. So here is decaliter. We'll move to the centiliter. So first step, decaliters to liters, then liters to deciliters, then deciliters to centiliter. There are three jumps and we are going forward. So multiply by 10 each step. So there are three tens. It means it will be multiplied with 1000. 52 decaliter is equal to 52 multiply 1000 centiliters. So that will be 52,000 centiliters. Moving further, let's see some more example. The questions could be in the form of fill-ups. So fill in the blanks. The question is 600 decaliters to kiloliters. Dash kiloliters. For that, make the chart again. Decaliter is here and we are moving backward from right to left. When we are moving backward, we divide. So let's decaliter to hectoliter, then hectoliter to kiloliter. Divide 10 each step. And how many tens are there? There are two tens. It means we'll divide 600 by 100 because of the two tens. So 600 decaliter equal to 600 by 100 kiloliters. 
Now cancel these two zeros with the denominator of the two zeros, and we are left with six by one, that is six kiloliters. B part we have one thousand eight hundred deciliters equal to dash hectoliters. Again, make the chart. This time deciliter is here and hectoliter is here. So we are moving backward again from right to left. So it means first it will shift from deciliter to liter, then liter to decaliter, and then decaliter to hectoliter where our destination is. So we are moving backwards. So divided by 10 each step, there are three tens. It means divided with 1000. So 1800 deca deciliter equal to 1800 by 100 hectoliters. And now in this case, again, either you cut the zeros or you can just put the decimal. There are three zeros. So decimal will shift to the left side here. Three places, so 1.8 hectoliter is the answer. If you have confusion in the decimal division with 10, 100,000, you can watch that video. I will share link in the description. So the next question we have 5.875 hectoliter to dash deciliter. Make the chart again. Hectoliter to deciliter. So hectoliter to deciliter, we are moving forward. That is from left to right. So it means hectoliter to decaliter, decaliter to liter, and liter to deciliter. So four, that is left to right, multiply 10 each step. So there are three tens, means multiply 1000. So 5.875 multiply 1000 will give us deciliters. So again, shifting of decimal three places to the right side, because we are multiplying with 1000 the decimal number. And there are three zeros. So answer will be 5,875 deciliters. I think all of you that it must be clear how to multiply or divide by conversion. So it's your time to do workout. Convert 5 kiloliters to liters. Write answers in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming videos. Bye-bye.